faster food at home. This guy, Rich Jamiro, takes a look at the appliances looking to rival the microwave in today's Tech Smart. And let me also say welcome back from CES. Great yeah. Thank you. Great Thank you. Job. It was, uh, I was there for like seven days. Oh my. So uh, it was a lot. The one thing that caught my attention was the 160 inch TV screen. That was oh. like. Is that the folding one? No, that, no, was, that was, that was a that was only 137 oh, inches. Okay. Oh, okay. My bad, but there was a one. Yeah, there was a one sixty. Yeah, yeah there whole was, wall. I mean, like Fahrenheit four fifty one. Oh my. And okay, I I said this to you. You texted me about that, and I said, you joke that walls in the future are yeah. going to be TVs. Right. And it's true. I mean, yeah. that's what wow. we're seeing at CES. Like this idea of just like everything's a screen. Yep. So it was a great show this year. It was really back in a big way with like, you know, after the pandemic and all that stuff, 135,000 people, 4,300 exhibitors. Oh I my mean, gosh. I couldn't see it all, but I saw a lot. Your coverage was outstanding. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Really fun. Um, okay, so the microwave and the air fryer, two essential kitchen innovations, but watch out. There are now AI enabled smart ovens that are competing for a space on your countertop. Tech companies are working on ways for us to cook food faster. At this year's CES 2024, there was no shortage of smart ovens attempting to shortcut dinner time. The Sevi smart oven uses electric currents to cook food fast. Microwave, even though it has waves and people think that the waves go through the food, they don't. They only get to the very to the surface and then from there uh, the heat goes slowly into the food. Whereas with us it's totally different, it goes right through the food. So everything at, heats up at the same time. I tried blueberry muffins cooked in just a few minutes. Pretty good. Revolution Cooking is known for their $300 smart toast which has a screen and an element that heats up faster than a typical toaster. Now they're making a macro wave, which combines their InstaGlow infrared heating elements with traditional microwave tech. For example, you can take a frozen pizza, put it into the microwave, hit start, zero preheat time. The microwave starts to thaw and rise the dough, and the InstaGlow elements start to bake, melt the cheese, caramelize, and brown the crust. And you end up cooking a frozen pizza in about half the time with no preheat. So you get a really good speed benefit out of the combination of those heating technologies. The macrowave is going to be crowdfunded, pricing expected to be between one and two thousand dollars. Meanwhile, a startup named Sear Grills is using AI smarts to make what's being billed as the world's fastest grill. It's called Perfecta. Dual heating elements get up to 1600 degrees and cook both sides at the same time. Plus, it's all digitally controlled, so all you have to do is choose what you're cooking, and the machine does the rest. What kind of times are we talking about? Bliss stringy quick. So a steak, a, a, about three one-inch ribeyes, you're talking about 90 seconds. F three to four chicken breasts, you're talking two and a half minutes. Six burgers, a Beyond Burger, for instance, that will take nine to 10 minutes in a pan, you're talking a minute 30. A pizza that will take 12 minutes in the oven, you're talking two and a half minutes. This fast food isn't cheap. The Perfecta is $3,500. But with these innovations, you'll have more time to relax while tech does the cooking. I'm glad you caught that massage chair. Yeah. That is from a company named Body Friend. That new model is called the Phantom Neo. As you can see, it articulates your legs independently. Mm -hmm. Just a cool 12,000 bucks. All right, if you want to see all my highlights from uh, CES, you can go over to my Instagram, at Rich on Tech. Just hit the circle on my profile page that says CES 2024. I've got a ton of stuff posted, still lots more. So I think for the next like four weeks or so, you're going to see a lot of stuff from CES because I've seen a lot. I have a couple silly questions for those that might be looking at this, you know, this pack. Is it open to the public? Can you purchase or is this just industry people that get invited? Great question. It is just industry. Okay. And I keep telling the top folks at CES, I'm like, just one day, open it up. You'll make oh, even more money. 20 bucks a per, no yeah. problem. Yeah. I, I, I don't know why they don't do it because no. the last day, a lot of the industry people leave anyway. So it'd be a perfect day for the public or just keep it extra one yeah. more day. I mean, it's a lot of setup for these companies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm sure they would appreciate that. Good stuff. And I liked what you said. You said, you didn't see it all, but you saw a lot. Yes.